Hello, this is Paulino from socialmediatravelers.com or facebook.com slash socialmediatravelers. And a couple of days ago, I did a video with a Google Plus Hangout tour. But on the same day, Google Plus changed the layout for the Hangouts. So I'm doing another video to show some of those changes for people who have not participated in a Hangout yet. So we'll start looking on top. We have some indicators and some settings, icons. The first thing we'll see here is five dots that will change from green to red as we speak. It's showing our volume. And at the moment it always shows red to me, so I don't know if I'm too loud or not, but it, it usually, it, most of the time, is getting to red. But it's a volume indicator. Second, we have the microphone icon that we use to mute or unmute our microphone and the camera icon that we use to turn off or turn on our camera. Next we have the cog and that's where we change our settings. And last we have a phone hanging up and that's what we use to exit the Hangout. Now if you click on settings it will allow you to well, change camera if you have a different camera connected to your computer but also to select microphone and speakers and what kind of connection. If you choose slow connection not all the features might be available to you. And if you are recording in a studio or recording a show you may want to choose the studio option. It will give you stereo sound. So, but for most people, the voice option is fine. On the left, we have a bar with the apps. And right now we can see all the names. But the first button up here, it's uh, a toggle button that we can use to collapse or expand the apps. So we can see the names or just collapse them into a very slim bar to get the main picture really big. Now, if we move the cursor out of that bar, they will gray out. I really like that feature. It helps you to concentrate on, th on the main image. And then if you hover over the applications, they turn color. So again, with the first button here, you can expand or collapse the applications. That is a feature that is available in all Hangouts, including the next three. We have Invite People. If you click here, you can invite other people that are online or enter emails or circles here. And the chat, to enable the chat window. And this is one of the big changes. Now, if we open the chat window, it will appear on the right and um, it used to be on the left. So now people will have to get used that the chat window is on the right. And the other standard feature is screen share. And this is also available in all Hangouts. And when you click on it, you can share your desktop or another window or application that you have open on your computer. Now, there are some applications that are not part of the standard applications. When you have them uploaded to your Hangout, they will be displaying here. And if you have more, like I do, when you go to View More Apps, you'll see a second bar with the most recent apps that you have used. Or you can click the plus sign and add new apps. And there is a lot of new apps that are being developed. I recommend Hangout Toolbox. It has several applications in one. And then there are several other applications for collaborations, games, etc. Now, you might see here this Cameraman app that usually you wouldn't see in a regular or private Hangout. That's because I started this Hangout as a Hangout on Air. 
the creator of a Hangout or Nair will see this application, the cameraman, that will allow the creator to turn off some turn off or hide some members from the broadcast and you can make them visible here. Um, usually it is recommended that you select this option when members join they should be hidden and muted from the broadcast. So if you're doing a hangout on air and someone comes in in the middle of your broadcast they won't be visible and we won't hear their mics. Now, if, if you are already in a Hangout and you make someone invisible, when you bring them back to the Hangout, they will be muted by default. So they have to unmute themselves. And also, quickly related to Hangout on Air, you'll see here the options to start the broadcast and that's when your video will be public to the internet. Uh, it will be shown on your Google Class stream and also on your YouTube channel. But you have the option to embed that video on your website if you want or somewhere else. So you click on the embed link and take this code and embed it wherever you want. So those are some quick features. There are many more on Google Hangouts. I will try to do another video with more features later, but at least now you have an idea of what the Google Hangouts are about. I hope you can join me in some Google Hangouts. You can circle me if you go to g two slash Paulino Brenner and let's hang out. See you soon. Thank you.